I have had a colleague ask me to help him determine where different vacuum lines go in a 1973 Mustang with a 302. Now there's two different calibrations for the 302. One is for automatic transmission, one is for manual. The big difference, this is an automatic transmission car. There is a single diaphragm vacuum vents distributor canister on this distributor. For manual transmission, there is a dual diaphragm canister. Everything about the configuration, for the most part, is the same. But were this a dual diaphragm, this rear diaphragm would have a port that leads to intake manifold vacuum directly. The front of a dual diaphragm, just like the single diaphragm, has a single hose that leads to a thermal vacuum switch, the center port. Some of these have a vacuum delay valve that slows down how quick vacuum gets applied to the vacuum advanced diaphragm. This car does not. Often I see where those have been removed anyway. The reason they're there is to slow down the advance of ignition timing spark from the vacuum events diaphragm in order to help reduce nitrous oxide emissions because nitrous oxide is created under very high combustion chamber pressures and temperatures. They're trying to slow it down. It also impedes performance, hence why people take them out. Now, there are two other ports on the thermal vacuum switch, top and bottom. The bottom one has usually a stripe on it. I can't tell what the color stripe might be. It's probably white. Anyway, you'll have to trust me on this because it's hard to track down. It goes to intake manifold vacuum. The top port has a black hose with a yellow stripe. That leads just under the accelerator pump of this two-barrel carburetor. That is ported vacuum off the carburetor. But wait, there's more. There are two ported outlets on this carburetor. That one is for the distributor or spark advance. The other one is for exhaust gas recirculation and with a transmission that's automatic in this car. It is also used for a dual diaphragm automatic transmission modulator valve where much like the vacuum advanced diaphragm for distributor which is dual diaphragm for manual trannies the center or front of the module goes to manifold vacuum and the small um, the smaller hose, which is the rear part of the diaphragm, goes to the same EGR vacuum source as the EGR valve. We're going to clip this video for a moment as I come around to the other side of the car and try to locate the EGR vacuum port on the carburetor. Well, this is something new. This is the hose for a thermal switch for the EGR valve that only allows it to work when the engine is warmed up. Where this hose goes back to the EGR valve back behind the carburetor. This hose normally goes to a special port on the carburetor for ported vacuum. But when I started to play with this and push on it, it was making the same hose move up here 
As for the vacuum advanced diaphragm, well, if one that can get above there just right, you'll see there is a little plastic T. And that ported vacuum off the carburetor is being shared between both the three port thermal vacuum switch and the source for the EGR vacuum switch. So they are doing two th things off of one port of vacuum source on the carburetor. Okay, well, I forgot that. It's been many decades since I've worked on these things. Now, the other thing I would like to show is more for automatic transmission. So we're gonna stop for a moment and Linda will come over next to me and I'll try to point it out. Okay, I'm gonna show something that is more akin to an automatic transmission based vehicle, but it is still related to a manual tranny to a degree. What I want to point out is gonna be hard to see because it's so congested back here. I probably just blocked it. Yeah, you had it fine. Ah, hold on. Maybe I'm coming from above here. There we go. Way back there, there's a plastic T. And one part of the vacuum hose goes to the EGR valve. Another one is what goes way over to the two port thermal switch but another part goes up to the firewall you notice there's a four port vacuum T well the two hoses closest to us are bigger than the two that are furthest away the two that are closest to us one goes to manifold vacuum the other goes to the automatic transmission modulator on the large center nozzle. The small hoses on that four-way T, one goes to the EGR valve source where that other T was near the EGR valve. The second one feeds down to the vacuum modulator for the transmission also. It is a dual diaphragm modulator and it goes on the smaller T that is the secondary diaphragm closest to the transmission. I have not tried but I speculate for anybody who does want to have a monkey with that if you were to get a standard single diaphragm transmission modulator pop it in Connected to manifold vacuum, you'd probably be just fine. I have not done that because I want to keep this as stock as possible. Anyway, there you go. That's what it's all about for the distributor vacuum advance, thermal vacuum switch, hose routing, etc. I hope that helps.